All right, welcome to this 3D Quick Tips tutorial video. So today we're going to be talking about creating variable radius fillets in 3ds Max. So this is a lot easier to do in CAD software like Fusion. But so for example, you see how this edge has a very tight uh, edge, right? And the highlight fades off. It's because I use this technique to fade that bevel. So when we're in Fusion, this is really easy to do, right? We just you know go to a variable radius, you know, add a point and we can make one part thicker and uh, bigger, right? So that's really easy to do in Fusion. But when we're in a poly modeling software, that's not usually the case. So today we're gonna be creating basically this shape and we're just gonna be giving it a variable radius. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the other side and we're gonna create an edge flow. So this technique is literally the exact same as used in the previous video, except for the fact that we're using it in a three-dimensional shape. Uh, for a different purpose than a, than a specific fillet. So let's define our inner radius. And I'm using uh, line hotkeys to snap stuff instantaneously to uh, axes and straighten them out. So we want these two and these two to be equidistant. Oh, well, if that's what we want artistically, and that's what I want. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it a little bit, get it, get it close enough. Let's make this outer edge the same. I want them equidistant here. All right, so the trick I showed last time was how we use the chamfer modifier, or sorry, the chamfer tool. So let's go here to chamfer options or settings under edit edges. And we wanna use the regular chamfer, not the quad chamfer. And the reason for this is the regular chamfer is going to adhere to whatever lines that we've laid down. And so we just hit OK. And while we're done, we have these leftover edges. And so, as I talked about in the last one, uh, it's important to just hotkey what's called remove loop. So if we go to all commands, remove, and it's called remove loop. And basically, we'll just remove an entire edge loop based off one edge selection. Anyways, so after we chamfer, you'll notice that these two edges that are the border edges are going to be selected by default, so we just hit OK, press Y, and now we have no doubled up edges, and we're done. I'm just going to quickly set my smoothing groups with a hotkey, and uh, yeah, we now have a variable radius fillet in 3ds Max. Let's just do one more. Actually, we're doing two more. And so you can see we create these uh, variable radiuses. So hopefully this is helpful and will help you create some more interesting shapes when you poly model. It will allow you to do a lot of different stuff that you might not have been able to before. So let me know if you have any other suggestions for videos you'd like to see and if this was helpful.